Hi Year 12, today I'm going to uh, video the demonstration that I was going to do for you um, in the lesson. So today we're looking at the thermal stability of the group 1 and 2 nitrates. Last time we looked at the uh, group 1 and 2 carbonates. So we're going to see what they do and um, then look at the theory behind that. Okay, so turn this around. So I'm working in the fume cupboard because um, for lithium, magnesium, calcium and barium nitrates, um, we're producing a gas that we don't want to be inhaling. Uh, for the potassium and the sodium nitrate, we could do it out of the fume cupboard, but I thought that it was just easier if, uh, if I did all of them in the fume cupboard. So I'm going to start with potassium nitrate, white powder, um, I'm going to pop a spatula of it into a test tube. Okay. Put the lid back on my bottle. And then I'm going to heat in a blue flame. Quite strongly. I'm going to have a glowing splint at the ready. Now, initially, what you're going to see is that it will turn from a solid, and then the first stage here is that actually there's quite a lot of water in here already, so the water will um, evaporate, and at the moment it's actually dissolving into that water. Then once all of the water has evaporated, then um, it will melt and then we will see the decomposition occurring. So the moment it's uh, dissolved, we can see that it's changed colour, I think. I don't know if you can see that from there. So it's turned to a yellowy kind of liquid. holding it right in the cone of the blue flame. don't think it's ready to test yet, but it might be. Okay, so whilst heating it, I'm going to light my splint. Oh, no, it needs to be glowing. So you might be able to think about what I'm testing for here. Okay, it did just about do that then. So if I just make it a bit more glowing, there we go. So relit, glowing, splint. So just need to put this down. Um, but at the moment my test tube is too hot, so I just need a metal um, a metal test tube holder, which uh, Mr. Leak has kindly got for me. Happened to be in the room at the time. Thank you, Mr. Leak. So that was our potassium nitrate. One of our products has relit a glowing splint. So just pop it back on a yellow flame for a moment. Okay, now I'm going to do the same with sodium nitrate. So this is a slightly different appearance. It seems to be in like funny little uh, white pellets. So again, about a spatula into my test tube. Try not to drop them everywhere. Put the lid back on. Don't want to be uh, spilling it everywhere. Okay, and again, 
I'm going to hold it in my roaring blue flame. So we can see now that uh, it's dissolving in the water that's there and then it will okay. already starting to bubble so water is evaporating and then the substance will be melting and it might be too soon Oh, no, there we go. Got my uh, splint relighting very easily, actually. So, pop that one in there, turn my Bunsen onto the yellow flame. So, you might want to be thinking about what product I've made and what, therefore, the other product would be. Now, for the next one, I'm going to have to put the fume uh, fan on, the fume cupboard fan on because we want to be extracting the fumes that are being produced so it will be a bit noisy now so I'm going to start with lithium nitrate nice spatula full again pop my lid on so this one looks a little bit like looks a little bit like the first one that we did um, powdery but sort of it looks doesn't look like a dry powder it does look like a kind of a wet powder, which is what it is. So, we'll expect to see a similar thing happening initially, but then we will be forming a different uh, gas at first. So, strong blue flame. So, we can see that instantly the water there is. Um, dissolving our substance. It's a bit violent, you can hear it crackling. So now, once the, oh, hang on a sec, just sometimes when you have the fan on at the same time as the Bunsen burner, it can uh, cause the Bunsen burner to go out. So I just need to relight the Bunsen burner flame. Bear with me. Oh, no, it's gone out. You can see that the fan is definitely uh, making the Bunsen burner not behave as we want it to, but this is what we need to do. So hopefully this time we need to have a stronger flow of gas going through. Okay, continue. Hopefully it will do what it's meant to be doing. Okay, we're getting there now. So we've given it a bit more heat. And hopefully you can see that there's now a brown gas being formed. Which is 
different from before. So again, just going to see if I can light my splint. Let it burn. Glowing. Just yet. strongly but the Bunsen flame did go out earlier when I did this so. okay there we go we might have a bit more luck now it's definitely glowing more strongly ah oh, there we go reel it there we go. So that should also tell us what we've formed here, like we did last time. So in all three cases so far, we've formed a gas that has relit a glowing splint. Um, in addition, this time we've got a brown gas, we can see here. Okay, I'm not going to risk turning the Bunsen back onto the, the yellow flame right now. So now I'm going to do um, magnesium nitrate. So again, this one definitely looks quite um, a sort of wet powder. Uh, if I show it to you like that, quite wet powder. So nice spatula full there. Heating again. Very quickly dissolving into the water. Now we're boiling off that water. And once we start um, to decompose so I don't know if you can see that very easily on the camera but there's steam coming out of the top okay that's just steam that's just um, the water vapor from there and now we're doing the decomposition okay and that has happened much quicker this time so let's see if we can relight the glowing splint it might be too much of the brown gas at the moment oh no there we go easily relit that Try again, see, very easily done. Okay, right, I'm going to pop that down. The vigor of that reaction was much more noticeable and we formed a lot more brown gas um, in the same amount of time. So, last two, we've got calcium next, which is um, it's a bit more flaky, slightly different um, appearance. So, my Bachelor full. Again, heating strongly on a blue flame. Again, quickly um, dissolved, quickly um, bubbling. This one, strangely though, turns back into a solid very quickly, um, which is a bit odd. And it kind of looks like it's a, a solid that then is bubbling a little bit. Um, so that's how calcium nitrate differs from the other ones. So you need to carry on heating it very strongly. Bunsen burner is definitely struggling with the fan being on.
so we're just starting to see aha uh -huh, okay now it's turned into a liquid again and now we're just starting to see that formation of the brown gas that we saw in the last example and when the brown gas is being formed then at that point we should also be having the other gas formed that relights the glowing splint so let's see if it will relight the glowing splint there we go just about but not nearly as easily as with the magnesium nitrate if i try again now that there's more brown gas being formed lovely okay so that's plenty of that one so the final one is barium nitrate now barium nitrate has a slight sort of pink tinge i'm not sure you'll be able to see it very easily there uh, so the final one barium nitrate has uh, more of like the consistency of sugar put my lid back on So at the moment it appears to not be doing anything. It's taking longer even to do the whole dissolving bit. There we go, now it's starting. So we've uh, dissolved it into the water that was there, although there's not actually very much water in this one. So then it will start to uh, melt. And you can see we are starting to have um, a bit of that brown gas forming, although at the moment it just looks yellow. So in a moment it should turn, turn brown. Okay, and it's glowing, and we have again relit the glowing splint. Although, as with uh, the calcium, it you have to put it much further down into the test tube in order to relight it, and then it goes out very quickly again. Okay, so I'll just need to leave the fan on for a little bit longer. Um, I will turn off the gas. Oh, sorry, close up for me there. So um, what I will do is I will have the slides up for the theory behind that um, also on the same post. Um, I hope that you could see the pattern and that you've worked out what the gas is that relights the glowing splint. Um, on the slides there will be more information about what the other gases are and the other products are as well. So have a good day year 12 and hopefully see you soon.